Hi, this is the full walk around and demonstration of Tray Engineering's 1000 litre vac tanker. Now, as this one's been configured, you've got 700 litres of effluent waste, and you've got 300 litres of clean water. All these things are bespoke builds, so you tell us what split you need and what you need to do, and we can sort it for you. So, let me show you around the job. So, the dry weight of this unit is 1000 kilos. So, if you fill both tanks, you'd be talking. 2,000 kilos and it's running on a 2,800 kilo chassis. And this particular customer has been used on a farm so he wanted to go over rough ground so he upgraded the chassis. So you've got Land Rover style wheels. You say the chassis runs on 2.8 but when it's full it's going to be 2,000 so you're well overrated there. Walking around you've got uh, Avon Roy Cannot running gear so it's Avon Roy Cannot coupling, Avon Roy Cannot torsion beam. And then, as I said before, Land Rover style wheels for this application. But tell us your application, we can see what's, what's best suits you. So, on the equipment, you've got an electric start diesel Yamaha engine. So, you've got Honda options, uh, Honda petrol, or diesel Yamaha options. And then that's pairing a Mech 1000 pump in this instance. Bigger the tank, bigger the pump we need. So, for this size tank, Mech 1000 does the job. And so I'm going to do a practical demonstration in a bit and we'll be able to see exactly what it can do. And then also there is a clean down water facility. So on demand water pump, so that switches the pump on. And then you just basically pull the trigger and the pump will work. Which again I'll be going through in a bit and show you how that works. So moving around the job. This particular customer has asked for a four inch outlet so you just take the cap off and then connect your pipe work to it for discharge round, you've got 15 meters of tiger tail hose and you've got a hose reel with 50 foot of half inch hose on there and a gun so as i said before on demand water pump pull the gun it pumps let go of the gun stops pumping Coming around. So the water pump is situated underneath there, nicely and protected. Little filter in there as well. So this is your clean water side, that's your effluent side. So safety features, you've got a one and a half inch pressure relief valve there, one and a half inch suction relief. So one will relieve when you're under vacuum, one will relieve when you're under pressure. Pressure relief gauge which shows vacuum and pressure. You've got a primary overfill protection there, a secondary overfill protection there, and then you've got your sight glasses on the front and the back of the tank. So these sight glasses will show your water levels. And then the sight glasses on the back of the tank will show you as your tank's filling. So basically when you can see contents in the top of there, that would be your maximum fill level and that's where you need to stop filling and empty it. Okay, so here's the exciting bit. People are always asking how much will these things lift vertically? Now when you're using vac tankers, horizontal isn't an issue. You can suck as long as you want horizontally. It's vertical where you have the problems. So demonstration today, we've got approximately six meters there. So you've got a 15 meter length of tiger tail and we're going six meters vertically in the air. Now let me show you the starting procedure and we'll see how this thing sucks. Starting procedure simple enough on this side. Okay, so starting it up, you've got the tortoise and you've got the hair, so just move over to the hair. Depending on what you want to do, whether you want to suck or whether you want to blow. So I'll say suck is for filling the tank, blow is for emptying the tank. So going on suck. And the job is just a simple case of turning the key. Now, if for some reason your battery has run flat, there's always a backup hand start. Now, to do that backup hand start, you pull over this red lever, you pull the recoil till you get resistance, and then you pull it, fire it away. That is to stop the recoil. Save your arms. So it's an electric start, so let's fire it up and let's see how this can suck.
give you an idea that 15 meters of tiger tail has just sucked 200 liters of water or effluent six meters vertically in approximately a minute so just give you an idea of the performance so discharging the tank this time we're going to pressurize the tank you can just gravity feed via the four inch at the bottom but we'll pressurize it just to show you the force that it's got to push anything that may get stuck in the tank back out so starting procedure same as before So tortoise to hair, and then now we're going to turn from suck to blow. Now when the tank gets to approximately 5 psi, it'll start blowing off as a, a safety procedure. So the blower file will start blowing off at 5 psi, so the tank will never exceed the 5 psi. So fire it up, and then we're going to, all that water that we've just sucked up, we're going to discharge it under pressure. There you go, 200 litres of water, discharged in no time at all. Okay, that covers the vacuum and pressure side of things. Just one more thing to mention is the lubrication. So just daily checks. So you've got, check your oil levels with a dipstick, just simple dipstick, unscrew it, just check the level there. And then you've got another dipstick for your uh, vacuum pump levels and then while your engine's running there's a little window there and you should have approximately one drip of oil every 30 seconds it's adjusted by there just with a little nut lock nut there so we've adjusted it at the factory and then slacken off the lock nut and then you can adjust it if you need to but that's all been factory set so you just need to just check every now and then you're getting one drip of oil approximately every 30 seconds Okay, and then the other thing, we're just going to quickly run through the water side of things. So you've got your 300 litre water tank with your sight glasses. You've got two inch fill there, so you can just put your hose pipe in there and fill it. So it's only 300 litres. It's actually fill point. Sight glasses, three sight glasses. You've got an isolation valve at the base of the tank there, just in case you need to isolate it. So when you obviously want to use it, turn it onto the on position. The pump is situated underneath there, protected. Switch the loop power to the pump. As I say, it's an on-demand water pump, so if there's water in there, it'll get to pressure and it'll switch itself off. And then just going round, you've got your wash down facility there. With your hose reel and different attachments. You say you see the push will drop and then it will pick back up again just as the pump's kicking in, kicking out. As I say, let go, pump will switch itself off, on, pump will switch itself back on again. Okay. And that's about it. Thanks for watching Trangineering's walk around and demonstration of the 1000 litre vac tanker. Don't forget to check out our website, trangineering.co.uk and check out our other videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching.